So this is representing my nephew and niece for the pole that they're going to be carving. Holy So traditional Coast Salish house posts were carved to signify families. So there was a story that was carved on each house post that represented a family. And they were positioned in front of longhouses. And these longhouses were anywhere from 100 feet to, 100 to about 200 feet in length. So they would have um, a number of families who lived and shared this longhouse together and they had fire pits in there as well and um, they were designed to have more families live in one you know kind of space what inspired me to commission a house post for Mugi secondary a Musqueam house post for Mugi secondary was well obviously the first one is that we didn't have one um, and there's the, the important symbolism of a house post for Musqueam community and culture that I feel that many of us don't know anything about. And it would be a way of recognizing that McGee Secondary is on Musqueam land um, and it is more than a rhetorical statement of being on the land. It's, it's a physical and explicit embodiment of the school's commitment to um, anti-racism and learning about our colonial past and the true consequences of colonial impact on indigenous people. 